so let me just share this actually i just want to share this topic because i had experience using this and i uh, made some uh, profit to my previous company so maybe we can uh, you know get some uh, customers using this service services service sorry so yeah um what is a, a well, Azure Active Directory B2C, I know some of you already heard about this since I heard someone from you uh, say or uh, mentioning about Okta. This is pretty, uh, this is similar for, for from that service. So it is a cloud-based solution offered by Microsoft that can help businesses effectively manage customer identities and access to their applications and services. But before I continue talking about this Azure B2C, let's first understand its primary concept, which is CIAM or CIAM which stands for Customer Identity and Access Management. This is a solution used by businesses and organizations to effectively manage and secure their customers' personal information. Um, consider all the online services you are currently using now, such as Facebook or social media, online shopping, or even gaming platforms. When you create an account there, you typically provide personal information like your name, email address, and um, possibly, possibly your birthday and phone number. This information allows these services to recognize you and deliver personalized experiences. CIAM or CM employs different methods to um, protect your personal information. It enables you to create a unique username and password combination, um, ensuring that only you can access your account. It may also incorporate additional security measures like two-factor authentication where you need to provide an extra piece of information such as code that will be sent to your phone or um, email addresses for login purposes. Moreover, CIAM or CM enhances your online experiences. Let's say um, frequently, you, uh, frequently you use an online shopping site. Um, CIAM or CM can remember your preferences and purchase history, enabling personalized recommendations and the ability to recall items you left in your shopping cart. It's like um, having a virtual shopping assistant who understands your preferences. So let's go back to Azure B2C. So Azure B2C provides an identity service like what I have mentioned. Someone is knocking on my door. So <laughs> service for applications that lets customer choose how they want to log in. Um, yeah, it is a customizable identity solution for customer facing applications. Um, yeah, B2C allows customers to sign in into applications by creating an account using or using their own existing external account. Um, external accounts could be from public emails or social media accounts such as Gmail, Facebook, or Twitter, or even company IDs. If uh, yeah, I have this experience where our customers use their their company IDs, so they don't have any email addresses. They just use company IDs. And why is this important? Maybe just to give you. A broad um, idea about this so let's imagine uh, a scenario where an organization develops a public application that requires user identities for logging in so to achieve this they would need a database to store usernames and passwords additionally they would need um, to establish an onboarding process for new users and implement a system for password self-service resets to address the common issues of forgotten passwords and in case the application deals with confidential data, it may be recommended to include multi-factor authentication to strengthen security. The system must be, of course, secured and also is it easily accessible to public. No one desires uh, a database of customers' usernames and passwords to be vulnerable, vulnerable attacks, right? Hello, are you still there? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just, I'm just speaking so fast so that I will not take. A lot of your time so yeah furthermore we haven't even okay so we haven't even discussed the options of you know of, uh, allowing third-party identity providers like gmail facebook to handle logins or enable single sign-on on which they can have you know we, we can which can simplify the user experience so in summary it's always depending on uh, from the organization's need to establish a robust identity management system that addresses user onboarding password management and data security well integrating additional security measures like multi-factor authentication and considering third-party uh, identity providers can enhance both security and users con uh, convenience convenience so fortunately yeah azure b2c takes care of all these aspects like 
like what I have mentioned, Okta is a counterpart of this one, which is uh, yeah pretty well known also. But I only had experience using this uh, Azure B two C. So yeah, B two C takes all of these aspects and just to enable developers to just ded dedicate more time to application development and less time to uh, the management of an identity service for different customers of their organizations or company. So how it works? So it is simply just like this. Azure B2C creates a tenant to represent the data of users. This is similar to, uh, but different from an Azure AD tenant. I'm going to show you the difference of Azure AD tenant from Azure AD B2C later. So application needs to be registered to uh, Azure B2C tenant so that all users registers at the local account or with external identities using protocols like OAuth or OpenID or with social identity such Twitter, yeah, again, Facebook and Gmail. So yeah. Okay, so like what I've said, you probably uh, say that, yeah, why, why, we do, why do we need to, to, to have this A, A, sorry, ADB, ADB2C? To, to, uh, why do we need to use this? So just to give you a um, uh, high level overview about AD tenant, uh, I'm sure we are all familiar with the tenant word. So yeah, so Azure AD tenant is uh, handling different services within the organization. So Azure services, Azure DevOps, Teams, Office 365. So if you want to invite some users with uh, with their own AD tenant, you can just send an invite to that to that person or to that account to collaborate with your organizations, and that's what you call B two B. That's business to business. And but let's say you want to have these multiple applications that you need your customers, so it's, you need to focus on your own customers to 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 have their own experiences when it comes to signing it, signing in or signing up or uh, editing their account, and yeah. That's when the B2C just created. Oh, there's no icon here. Um, yeah, so B2C tenant is uh, a totally separated, uh, what they call this stocks or service from Azure AD tenant. So it has their own database of users, but this is more on focus to different applications that the users or consumers will be using. So Okay, so I, I have a, uh, I have an error with my animation there. So B two C accounts has diff uh, three different types of accounts. Um, the first type is the work account. This is the it's like a default account created inside the B two C tenant. And the second one is a guest accounts. This is an external account. Uh, these are also used to manage the tenant account. For example, you could invite users from your enterprise AD tenant to manage this B2C tenant. And the last one is to customer's account. Customer or consumer accounts has two different types, local and social enter enterprise identities. So local uh, account is, these are the, it's like uh, the user will create their account and this will be created inside the B2C tenant compared to social or enter enterprise identities. These are managed from external sources such as yeah, Facebook, Gmail or ADFS if you are familiar with ADFS. So, so this is just a yeah. I just got this from Microsoft documentation just to show you the the flow or uh, yeah the diagram for single sign access access for yeah using user provided identity. So as you can see here, all the identities that you can use can be integrated to this Azure B two C, and yeah. It can also use auth2 or auth1 even some application can be integrated here which is very complicated yeah the the yeah integrated with external user store so it, it, when you say external user source this is a third uh, third system so it's like they have their own uh, database that can handle different attributes because um, azure b2c has only five 50 properties that can be used inside your applications meaning if you have let's say if you a different uh, let's say first name if you are if if your customer has third name you can also add that yeah this is just a simple diagram for verification so it's pretty straightforward forward this is the registration 
process of Azure B2C. And if you have this third party uh, system, like for example, SAP, if you want to, uh, if you want to integrate this process uh, from the SAP, uh, uh, what you call this identity proofing, yeah, you can also do that by just exposing different APIs. Okay, demo and actual. So that's all for my my 